DJ Brewtube High Gravity Motherfucking Beer Review. <sighs> That's right. It's Johnny's daughter's birthday. That means he's even more old than before. Every year we have her birthday in celebration. But it was starting last year. Oh, but that's he, right. Yeah, well. He failed. Last year, he did well. We got a 17% ABV. This year, she turned 18. We still got a 17% ABV. It's not my fault. Dogfish Head was supposed to brew this at 20% ABV. Well, she's that's not 20 yet. Oh. I, I think I have some, you know, uh... uh 120 minute IPA, I think that's 18%. Maybe. They, what, we can switch it out. You know what the jacked up thing is? They don't say what it is on that label. Yes, it does. No, 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 on the 120, no, the 120 minute. Yes, it does. Uh huh? Yes, it does. No, it doesn't. Oh. Anyways. It says 18%. So, from Dogfish Head Craft Brewery out of Milton, Delaware, USA, yay, yay, we have Higher Math, which is the 20th anniversary beer. 2015 vintage, of course, and it's in celebration of their 20 off-centered years brewing beer, like 120-minute IPA that Johnny's checking out to see if there's ABV on the label, and of course there is not because the beer geek knows these things. Oh, looks like the bottles go back in the fridge. Fucking right. But, but it ages well. It does age well because but we it's, know it's like 18% because we bred it because we said it would be like 20% since it's been in there for like a year or two. It it does swing. So. This is a golden strong ale. I don't know what the fuck you call that besides it's a strong ale. I don't know the golden, golden. card matters. I don't know. That's, That's right. a new category. I've seen a couple golden. So, Maybe John is going to tell you some Colorado. more particulars while I open this beast. So, what did you give him? Huh? Higher math. 20th 20, 20 anniversary 2015 beer. 17% ABV, 35 IBUs. <sighs> brewed as an homage to Sam's first home brew that had cherries in it, meant to taste like a chocolate cherry birthday cake. Adjuncts cocoa, cocoa nibs and sour cherry juice. God damn, that is sour. <laughs> so, again, Dogfish Head Crack Brewery, Milton, Delaware, U.S. of Dog, get out of my crotch. You'll get some in a minute. Damn, get some of what? I've got, I've got get some of what? I got the dog crotch. I got the dog's head in my crotch, and we got dogfish head beer here. Yes. So appearance-wise, it's a <sighs> hazy amber red color, maybe with some orange glints. There is some sticky glass slicing, and the inside yes, of the entire mind. glass is totally coated yes, with sticky boots. Sticky, <laughs> sticky dog. This is night night juice is what this kind of beer is. Yeah, this is you drink it night night. <laughs> and you go night night and that's it. Yeah. Yes, but take a look at that guys. Looks lovely in our water glass snifter, whatever the fuck it is from the dollar store. Ah oh, yes. Let's see what's up with the aroma. Well yeah. sour cherries, cherries for sure. Sour cherries and chocolate. Yeah. It smells like kind of black forest cake. If you've had black forest cake, it's chocolatey and Not the cherries are tart. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I get milk chocolate, they get the cherry. Kind of vinous, right? Oh okay. also yeah. yeah. The alcohol actually is strong as hell. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> For you you might have been going the other direction. No. It's seventeen percent and it's telling you, guess what motherfucker? You're gonna drink a really strong beer, and you're gonna go good night. Well, unless you're. In a I mean, it's 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 a, it's not upfront alcohol. It's on the back side that it tickles your nose as as you this, breathe it down your throat. This reminds me a lot of what when I brew Applejack, that really strong apple cider that I brew with wine yeast smells like in a lot of ways. It's real forward, like kind of malt wine smelling. But the cherry juice is giving it like this tart aroma, and then the cacao nibs are in there. It's not smelling yeah. like like chocolatey, but I think the 17% is already affected. <laughs> Woo! It's like you get high off the freaking vapor. Damn. Wow. Woo! I think it's time to drink. Exactly. Cheers. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Exactly. To Sam and my daughter. Yeah. Exactly. And you know, hey, Clement's homebrew. Mm-hmm. Like, like last year, she's not available again. Exactly. Yeah, <laughs> keep your son at bay. Cheers.
Wow. Very wine-like. Yeah. Flame on, boozy, but not like off-puttingly boozy. Cherry oh. wine. Mm-hmm. With like a kick of chocolate. like chocolate in the background. Yeah. They're saying this is supposed to be a chocolate cherry cake in liquid form. Very successful in that. I, I think so. It's a slight tartness to the cherry, but there's so much fucking malt sweetness in this that it kind of tames that. But I'm not. I'm, but that's what it's saying. Sour cherry, cherry juice. So. Mm -hmm. Wow. Compared to a lot of the green caps, this is very drinkable, fresh like this. It's wow. got a good mouthfeel. Like medium but, full. But, but you know, it's it's almost like a chocolate cherry cake mm -hmm. that has... It's been soaked like, in booze? Yeah, <laughs> like a rum cake or something like that. I mean, it, it's it's pretty cool. I, I I think it's it's unique. It's got... It's interesting. It will kick your ass. And it, this is, You know what? This is a dogfish head in liquid form. Like they're talking about off-centered ales. This is no doubt off-centered. If you're a newbie craft beer drinker, this ain't for you. Back up off this. Go away. Stop watching this review. Send the bottles to us. We'll drink them for you. Yeah. Um, this is maybe not in your ballpark. But, wow. it's There's actually a decent amount of complexity in the flavors as you sip through it. it it's almost got like a brandy, mm. uh, a cherry brandy flavor to it as well. Um, you could almost... Heat it up a little bit. <laughs> right. Well, you know, that's what they suggest with uh, Duclaw Colossus. This, yeah. Yeah. this has different flavors than Colossus, but it's a kind of like same sort of like drinking experience. It's an extreme beer that's on that edge of the envelope of its flavors, and yeah, it's boozy. It's 17%. Fuck, come on, get up off it. If you, if there's somebody out there complaining because oh it's boozy, guess what? How many 17% beers have you brewed that aren't boozy? They don't exist. Not unless you cellared them for a really long time. Yeah. Like Worldwide Stout. We drank that cellared version of the Worldwide Stout. 2007. Stout. Yeah, that was a 17 point something percent or like whatever. That, yeah. And that beer, there was, it wasn't boozy. It was super drinkable. But, you know, it was what? Uh, what, eight years old when we drank it? Yeah, it was last, last Christmas. Yeah. 2014. So, yeah, seven, eight years old when we drank it. Seven this, I imagine, in seven or eight years will mellow like that. I don't know if it'll be as hidden as that because that's a bigger bodied beer than this mm -hmm. is. But really, it's almost really a, freaking smooth. It's still a liqueur standpoint. Mm -hmm. This is like sipping on like an after dinner liqueur more than it is drinking a beer. The carbonation though is kind of palate cleansing in some ways because I don't have like cloying sweetness in my mouth when I drink it. No. You know, he's saying it it's supposed to be like a, a chocolate birthday cake. Mm -hmm. I actually taste cake. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's and it's not because I just ate birthday cake probably about 45 minutes ago. <laughs> I'm actually tasting that cherry cake. And I'm not a, trust me, cherry pie, I don't like cherry pie. I'm not a, the biggest cherry fan in the world. Of course, I like cherry coke, but... This is... Back in the day, I liked popping cherries. Yeah, there you go. Uh, and it's... The light goes out. So, but I, I do have to say, he, they have hit it. You, you've got the hint of chocolate. You've got the cherry. You've got a cake taste. You know, it. it I think they did, they, they did a good job on this. This is one of the... I. You know what? This is the most drinkable, I would say fresh green cap beer that they've produced. We drank pretty much you do have to get over a little bit of the booziness, but you know, there's that brandy but, taste to it. But it's not an overwhelming. You get all those other flavors. Worldwide stout fresh is astringently alcoholic. Fort fresh is super boozy. Um, 120 minute IPA, fuck that. Fresh, no way. That's a beer you sell because that's basically a, a barley wine on steroids. This, this reminds me a lot of Colossus in its drinkability. The flavors are totally different. The body is, is actually, I think, bigger than Colossus was. It's like nice mouthfeel. Yeah. It it's just has, feel. It's they, not full, but it's... It's, it's, it's like medium full, kind yeah. of on that range. 
And for what it is, I'm very impressed with this beer. Yeah. Very yeah. drinkable. And this bottle, I think, was $9.99. It's actually got some, you know, you say vinous, it's some apple yeah. taste to it as well. And remember, we got apple off of Colossus, too. Uh-huh. Maybe, maybe that's something when you brew these big Belgian-y style beers, because I know for a fact in Colossus they use some Belgian yeast strains. Maybe that's an offshoot of that mm-hmm. fermentation or something that that's sort of like apple flavor. But, hmm, we need to pass judgment on this. Let's get another taste. I've been doing that. <laughs> so I said the apples because I got that apple flavor. I'm really digging that cherry note in the background though. The cherry tartness is almost like a foil for the alcohol that's in it, as well as the chocolate. And the chocolate almost like comes in the aftertaste more than in the forefront. Yes. In the forefront you're like, here, guess what? Cherry. Bam, yeah. booze, cherry, boom. Brandy, yep. Mm-hmm. And then in the, as you drink it, it's this like Almost if you took like cocoa powder and like tasted a little bit of it, that's kind of like what you're, I'm getting in yeah, the back. Yeah, it's not like what I did as a kid and went into the, the quick Hell with yes. a spoon with a big, huge, heaping teaspoon. Yeah. You know what our wives used to eat? Well, they still do my wife with cajeta. No, it's also the leche nido powder. No, yeah, well, my wife did that with like baby formula. Yes, mine too. <laughs> But the leche nido powder, I guarantee you, you go up to a Mexican that's got a little bit of age on them and you give them some leche nido, which is basically powdered milk from Nestle, they will, in fact, put a spoon in there and eat that. And what it, does it taste like? It tastes like you're pouring condensed milk in your face. Anyways, so we need to grade this beer. So our friends over at Rape Beer failed. Um, 17% ABV, they gave it a 39. That's what, what I said. They what the failed. fuck? Uh, the dude, dudes over at uh, Beer Advocate gave it an 85, and the bastards over at Untapped gave it 3.77 caps. Remember, if it's not a full cap, don't buy the beer because it's going <laughs> to leak. 39? What the fuck? Really? Um, this, a golden strong ale, okay. It doesn't look gold to me. Um, <laughs> Maybe it's the cherry color in it. I don't know. Or the and the cacao. Yeah, it could be. I like this. This is a fun beer. Mm-hmm. It's a it's you know brewed once. I don't think they'll brew it again. I'm gonna get it. Because of the flavors and, and true to form of what they say it's supposed to be on the bottle, I'm going to give it a 95. I think, I think it, it hits the spots with chocolate cherry birthday cake. And yes, those that aren't really into craft beer you're not or, or newbies to it, you're not going to like this. But those that have a refined palate and you know tend to like some of the sour beers and and stuff like this, I think you'll you'll get a kick out of this and enjoy the overall taste of, of the cocoa nibs and, and cake flavor and cherry juice. So, uh, so like I said, I think I, I gave it 95. Mm-hmm. I think as extreme beers go, the 39, I just can't see that. There's no, there's no way that's just complete rubbish. Bullshit. They're fucked up. There you go. Beer Advocate given to 85. I can see that because, yeah. you know, as a cumulative grade, you'll have newbie drinkers and other people who have a more experienced palate with extreme beers like this and picking out the flavors. I can see that 85, which is kind of into the B plus range. I, I get that. As it is a 3.77 cast. I'm also going to go 8 on this. I'm going to go 95 too. I'm going to agree with, with the stun drinker. Don't remember that I ever said that. But it, like... Johnny says it delivers as advertised on the label. I didn't think it would be. When I saw the green cap, I was dubious because they're always extreme. If you've had, if like I said, if you've had 120, you've had Raison d'Entre. I've had 120. Yeah. That was a good time. Exactly. In front <laughs> of the toilet. Worldwide, <laughs> worldwide style for any of the green cap beers, you know that they're boozy as hell and they need to be cellared, but they do cellar into something awesome. I think this will actually sell her into something great too. I think so. I, Over I mean, time. It, it would probably the. I think, for me, the the taste of the cherry will still be there. The chocolate could be. I think that booziness may drop a little bit more. Mm-hmm. 
but I think it still would be, I think it, it might be more of a tart bomb later on. If you approach this as a liqueur more than a beer, I think your expectations will be set better because this is basically malt wine is what it comes down to. You hear malt liquor or whatever. This is really, yeah. this is really what malt, malt liquor is. is. It ain't your cold 45 and any of that. This is it's liqueur. Your cold 20. This is liqueur strength 25. booze. 2020 is some bitch ass stuff compared to this because we're talking 34 or what? 34 proof, right? Yeah. Or something like that, which is basically what most liqueurs, you know, if you get like apple schnapps or whatever, that's about what they're clocking in at between 34 and 38 percent, you know, or proof. So. Have you had this beer? Some of you have by this time. Let us know what you think because I like the quid pro quo. And in fact, Johnny likes the Idi Vuelta and back and forth, right? Yeah, yeah, okay. We also like it when you think globally, drink globally, and support the craft beer movement. And also, we really like it when you rate, Send comment, subscribe. Send more beer to us. Send more beer. Yes, if you're thinking, I won't like this and I bought a bottle of this, send it on. Yeah. We want to care for it lovingly and drink it for you as well. Mm -hmm. And we'll send you back the empty bottle. That's Just right. Just send us a uh, self-addressed stamped envelope with mm -hmm. a... pre is prepaid. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And we'll send you back the empty and bottle. And we might even like... Take, maybe take... a signature photo of me. Exactly. Yes, maybe a racy photo. Ooh. Of your head. Oh, that's... The bareness. Mm. Bear. You said Wait. bear. No, bear. Oh, bear news. Paul at BA Bear News would definitely dig this beer, especially if we send it to him with a cap, like, glued onto here and saying, dude, look at this. It's a custom bottle. And like a, a Bob Ross bro. Exactly. We put in some leather and some chains. Yeah. And call it Black Panther. Anyways. You know, I still have one of your beers in that fridge over there, Paul. It's the Magnum Opus, in fact, <laughs> with a puck of yeast. That's yes, yay thick. Pretty thick. A quarter of the beer is a buck of yeast. Yep. But that's not One story. day we will drink it. One day. <laughs> It'll be vintage by then. It's already got two years on it. So, two. Is it two or three? Four. Ah, oh, <laughs> four. I don't know when we saw you last time, Paul. Oops. So, to the next DJ Brew Tube, please remember to rate, comment, subscribe, and smash that like button. Until then, we have nothing but a bench. Bunch of. Bench? Bunch of. Bench? Yes, higher math. Bunch of Dolphish Head Craft Brewery out of Milton, Man Delaware, sucks. US of A. Higher math 2015 vintage 20th anniversary beer drinking. Just say peace out. Ah.